Hey there everyone. Well, I just recently made this drop cloth shower curtain. So today I'm going to show you how I did it. I've used drop cloths for several projects in the past and I had quite a few on hand. So I thought, why not use this? So the first thing that I did was measured the height that I wanted my shower curtain to be. I then took that measurement and laid my drop cloth out on the floor and cut it about 12 inches longer than that so that I would have enough to fold over and have a little bit of a valance on the top. Because so many of my things are in storage right now, what I do have on hand is hot glue. And so I decided to just hot glue this crocheted lace onto it. I used a little stick to help spread the glue out and to just press the lace into it so that I didn't burn my fingers. As I was working on this, I was just thinking how amazing it is that, you know, something that's meant to be a mess collector and protect what's underneath actually can be used and turned into something really pretty or beautiful and the lord you know how he does that with our own lives he takes our ashes and turns it into beauty and so we can take these you know mundane or boring or utility things and they can be turned into something so pretty and useful the Lord has a plan and a purpose for every one of our lives. And if we turn to him, he can take the messiest life and turn it into something beautiful. Now that I have the lace on there ready to go, I am going to spread out my tension rod with the rings. I just used um, curtain rings that had the clips on the ends and I'm just evenly spacing them out. And then I like to start on the ends when I'm hanging uh, curtains like this. So I'll do one side and then I'll go to the other and then I'll find the middle. Once I have both ends and the middle clipped, then I spread it out so that I can evenly clip the two rings in between each side. Then when it's hung and I'm happy with the way it looks on the outside, I added a plastic liner and I just went in from the inside and clipped it on that way. I'm sorry I couldn't get a better uh, full shot of the shower curtain 
as it's hanging there. It's just a very small space and so it was hard for me to get back far enough to get a full on shot of it. But I hope this gives you a good idea of what it looks like. I really love it. I'll, we'll see how it turns out in the washing machine when I, it's time to wash it. But I love the way it looks and it was inexpensive and it was really easy to do and it just added some character and a little vintage touch to this bathroom. You could do the same thing for window curtains or a closet or some other area that you've been wanting to cover up. This is a really easy and inexpensive way to do that. Thank you for watching and I hope you are having a great day. God bless you guys.